Hello again, my name is Dr. Giuseppe Palladini and I'm the founder of Step in Bricks. Now, interest only or repayment mortgage? Hmm, who knows? I'm going to tell you in a second. Repayment mortgage means that you repay not only the capital, but also the interest of using that capital, of borrowing that capital. The interest-only mortgage, however, is you pay just the interest on the capital that you borrowed from the bank, from the lender. Your question might be, okay, Giuseppe, why should I just pay the interest and never reduce the capital? Well, there are simple reasons for that. If you are a property investor, the main reason is cash flow. Now, everybody knows the cash flow is king and it's super important that you have enough cash coming in every single month that cover the expenses being mortgages, insurances, etc. If you have a repayment mortgage where you, where you repay the capital and the interest, then your mortgage payment will be much higher per month. That means that if, for example, a tenant doesn't pay uh, the rent, then you are left with a huge bill every single month. However, if you take uh, an interest-only mortgage, if that happens, your uh, mortgage payment is much lower because you only pay the interest and you can take the hit, if you know what I mean which means that you are not going into negative, but you can sustain that lack of rent coming in for a couple of months or three months or whatever. So it's really important as a property investor to consider interest-only mortgages on buy-to-let property. What I suggest you, however, is do repayment on your residential property where you live because you don't want to take any risks on your residential property. Now, remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm suggesting you to uh, use the smart ways of a property investor when it comes to mortgages and leveraging your money. Example about interest-only mortgages. Let's say, for example, you buy a property of £100,000 and you take a 75% LTV loan to value and you have uh, an interest-only mortgage for 25 years. Now, 25 years from now, you will still have your capital of £75,000 uh, that is left to pay. Now you're going to ask why, why am I not going to reduce that capital with re the repayment mortgage? Well simple because you are borrowing money for a very very cheap rate. Now of course 25 years ago 75,000 pounds were worth a lot more than today. So it's the same if you look into the future. Today 75,000 pounds are worth a lot more than in 25 years time because of inflation, because of several things, the cost of life uh, rising. So in 25 years, your debt will be worth much less than it's worth today. So that's why it's worth considering uh, interest-only mortgage, because in 25 years, your debt is sustainable. Now, let's say we are now 25 years in the future and you have four scenarios. Scenario number one, 75,000 pounds in 25 years would probably be worth about 40,000. So you might have this 40,000 pounds to repay the capital. Scenario number two is you renegotiate the mortgage so you can remortgage and extend it even further. Scenario number three, if you can't do the first two, you can probably sell the property. And if you paid 100,000 pound 25 years ago, surely your house will be worth a lot more in 25 years time. The number four scenario, which is the worst scenario, let's say you run out of options, you can't sell it, you can't remortgage, you can't pay off your mortgage. The last bit is the bank will repossess the property. Again, I don't want you to get into that situation, but let's say, for example, this happened, that is the worst scenario. The bank will repossess the property, but you're still left with 25 years of rental income. So even in the worst case scenario, you know, if the bank repossesses the property, again, which you don't want that to happen, but even in that situation, you still profited from 25 years worth of rental income. So as you can see, you really can't lose in property if you know what you're doing. Right, that's it for now then. If you like this video again, subscribe, push the button and comment in the comments below, and I'm going to reply personally. And I'll see you in the next video.